What's going on, guys? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Fallout 3. Now, Need something, friend? Uh, between this episode and the last episode, I forgot to save. So, guess who started all the way back at the all the way back at the Citadel and had to go all the way back here again? Stay I'll sharp give you a hint. and stick close to me until we're it's in the control me. room. All right. Anyways, uh, let's talk to you Brock real quick. To say? I want to see what he has in his inventory. Should yes. be just. By all means, power armor. Let's. Um, yeah, I'll probably scrap that at some point, I guess. It, it, I guess that's always another reason I take the recon armor. Because recon armor, the recon, the recon, the recon armor is uh, better for us, especially with the shiny stealth suit we have. Um, but yeah, actually though, we we managed to get all the paladins over here: Paladin Kodiak, Vargas, Glade, Nightcap, and Gallows, and obviously Sentinel Lions herself. I think she's invincible. <clears throat> I don't think I got these guys left here last time. I think they uh, kind, of, kind of died. Anyways, though, let's head on inside you and stop beating around the bush. Let's open the door to the Jefferson Museum and gift shop. <clears throat> Should probably check the rest, though. Alright, quest. Uh, this is a new quest we got. Take it back. Reach the Project Purity Control Room. We also have Project Impurity. Infect the Project Purity water supply. Or not. Hmm. Local flavors, DLC. So, we have these two. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, just a sledgehammer. Okay. Let's pull out our gun, just in case we have any. <laughs> situation anymore. We are the boss here. <laughs> they bleed just like anything else. That they do, Sarah. That they do. Actually, let me turn on my headset volume real quick. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Everything was a bit quiet. Okay, we have this, the uh, taft tunnels, but we can't actually open it. As far as the key. Alright, so they're probably going to go after people in the basement. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Which we shall check, I suppose. <clears throat> I don't want to head to the main area just yet, so if there are any other, uh, no response from intercom, okay. If there are any other Enclave soldiers, I do want to take them out down here. If they are, here. Which I don't know if they are. Mutilated torso. Yeah, definitely, definitely not what I'm here, and definitely not what I'm after. Uh, okay, that's confusing. Head for the control room and keep your head down. It's kind of hard to do that when you're blocking the wet. <clears throat> Alright. So I suppose we actually do have to head to the control room, which is fine by me. I just wanted to see if there was anyone else here. <clears throat> Alright. Am I in the right way? I don't. No, I don't think so. I think it's over here. That's a big. Wait, hold on. Can I jump on this? Hold up. I can jump on this. What? Dog me, watch out. Watch out, dog me. <laughs> yeah, no biggie, just standing on top of your gun. If it happens to be a flamethrower. But I can't even look at it because my camera angles. Not allowing me to. But that's funny. Alright, let me crouch. I think that's the best view you're gonna get. Yeah, it's funny. Scooch over here. <laughs> that's hilarious. <clears throat> All right, well, let's actually head on in. Ooh, what? Ooh, sick. I will take that. Uh, let's head on inside. Jefferson Memorial Rotunda. One more. There always is. <clears throat> Probably got rid of you. Sure. I'll take you. Sure. Alright. Let's head over here.
you again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. All right, so this is the man who uh, who killed our father. Um, well, I guess our dad sort of killed himself, but uh, he put him in a situation to do so. <clears throat> All right, so uh, sorry, stretching. All right, so look, I don't want to fight you. Give it up, Autumn. You've lost, and I'm going to enjoy killing you. Usually, I'd go for give it up, Autumn. You've lost, I think, but. This dude is, uh, he's a big jerk, so I'm going to enjoy killing you. You're in over your head, I'm afraid. You met my companion? But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we have... Dang, I think I put it away. Aw, oh, man. <clears throat> I wanted the... I wanted to use the fat man, I'll be honest. Dang. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I suppose we can't do that. However, we will do this. <laughs> Colonel Autumn. And there is the end of Colonel Autumn. Well, that takes care of that. I'll say. By now, the Pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Sure thing. All right, and that, and with that, we've hit level 29. Go ahead and increase our barter to 88, I suppose. Our energy weapons are already at 100. I don't use explosives. Big, big guns are okay. They already deal with enough damage. We already have Fox and Doggy. Melee weapons, meh. Unarmed, eh. So, let's go ahead with that. Must it be? Which doesn't to do anything. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we've been. I've, I think I've been. I've been. Ooh, nerves of steel looks nice. No weakness. Oh, that's dumb. Okay, nerves of steel might be good. Might actually be what we go with. Uh. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Contract killer. Yeah, but I think I've been struggling with uh, trying to find a perk to go with. Animal friend is kind of like my thing I've been thinking about. Seem good. Nerd rage, maybe. What our health doesn't get that low anymore. <laughs> and if it does, we have two companions to instantly back us up, you know? Um, silent running, eh. Chemist, I don't really use chemist very much. Chem resistant. Computer whiz might be helpful, but again, I don't really care. Deep sleep, I don't care about the 10 percent XP bonus. So I suppose, <clears throat> nerves of steel, with a nerves of steel perk, you regenerate action points much more quickly than you normally would. Go ahead and get that. All right. Oh, what the, I hear a very voice. Okay, so here's Colonel Autumn's laser pistol and Colonel Autumn's uniform. So there's energy cells and a finger. Dr. Lee? Uh, I hear Sarah voice. Lyons. I'm in the control room. We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. 
One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? <laughs> okay, so, uh, I didn't do this on purpose, but I, I just realized this now, um, as soon as we got here. You see the guy in the bottom left? Fox. He, uh, he can actually help us here as well as with the Gek, by retrieving the Gek. So, obviously, he's a super mutant, and Fox, being a super mutant, is very resistant to radiation. Um, normally, it's just you and Sarah. Uh, you know, Sarah will go in, whatever. I don't want to spoil that. You can go in, you can start the purifier, and if you have Fox, you can get him to do it. So, normally, that's, that's kind of like what I do, I guess, if I keep Fox or if I have good karma through my playthroughs. If I don't, I kind of for Sarah, <laughs> but I, I wonder what this other way thing is. Ha, no way, I'm going in there, you do it. No, must be some other way. I want to see what this is. Hopefully it's not like a, uh, hopefully it doesn't actually choose for me. I wish that were true. Really, I do. But you heard Dr. Lee. We have to do this right now, or who knows how bad it'll be. One of us has to go in there. All right, I'll do it. I'll start the purifier. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. Of course. If you're going to put the code in, hurry up and do it. Otherwise, this place explodes and everyone in the wasteland is in danger. I... Alright, cool. So we can actually go ahead and open it. There's no time to discuss it. Someone needs to activate the purifier now, please. So, oh, we're sealed in. Actually, in here, we don't have any radiation, but as soon as we get here, radiation starts stacking. All right, we have this stuff, or we have an enclave scientist here. We have the energy cells, the laser pistol, and more. Red X 10, right away 10, and the enclave scientist out. Not bad. Oh, oh, I thought he was, I thought he was very, like, badly uh, radiation, but... <laughs> Trying to see if there's anything else. Obviously, hey, dog meat, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Hold still, boy. This stim pack should have you feeling better soon. Let me give him another one. How many can I give him? I'll give him five. Alright. I think it's time for us to say goodbye, old buddy. Take care of yourself, okay? Good boy. I don't consider that just us saying goodbye to dog meat. I would have said goodbye to Fox. If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. All right. And here is the choice. Well, we've already made the choice, but here is the outcome. Let's check our radiation levels. It's 157. What? We have 70 radiation resistance? <laughs> Can we bump that up to 100? Like, I don't think I've ever, like, checked my radiation resistance and seen how high it is. But 70 is kind of funny. It's just, oh, you can't. Am I addicted to Rad X now? No. I just chugged like 15 of those. You can't make it higher than 85%, I guess, without perks. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and load that, because then we can chug 20 of those, or pop 20 of those pills. I want to get to the highest we could, which I suppose was 85. So just one. Uh, right away, you don't really need that. Uh, but yeah, obviously, if we reach the maximum, we will die, as we did back with uh, Moira Brown. Radiation levels increased here, of course. All right, so let's see if I remember the code. I think it's, what is this? Um, actually, oh yeah, you can see his, you can see his head in there. Okay, you can actually you can see his whole body, but you can see the, you can see the statue. All right, let's see. Two, one, six. Get it, boys.
And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Where's Sarah? Is she okay? Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. What's going on? It's all right. You're safe now. You're in the Citadel. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. You and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. What about the purifier? Did it... did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Well, did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. After securing the Purifier, our forces were sent to deal with the Enclave in full. The Pride and Liberty Prime made short work of their base of operations, and have since been cleaning up pockets of resistance. Well, how long was I out? 
just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. So, what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Well, is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Quest completed. Take it back. Quest completed. Project Impurity. And, quest added, Death from Above. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the beginning of the Broken Steel DLC. I believe I said that right. So, the whole cinematic uh, with the um, narrator voicing over everything. That was the ending of the main game. Um, now, if you have Broken Steel installed, like, you know, like I do, um, you will have the whole extra bit of cutscene where it's like two weeks later and you hear Elder Lions' voice. <clears throat> and then you wake up here and he's like, yeah, you've been out, uh, there was a blast, whatever, and then we might need your help, go speak to Ch uh, Scribe Rothschild. So, <clears throat> Here we are. We are in the Brotherhood of St or the Brotherhood of Steel DLC, the Broken Steel DLC. Sorry, and uh, yeah, we've already asked about Sarah. Oddly enough, it's not grayed out, so I'll go ahead and. She's right here, unresponsive but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. Okay, that's why it's because it's a different line. Um, what more? I think I've already gone. Yeah, I've already gone through all those. Okay. Um, so, what else can you tell me about the fight against the Enclave? As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the Purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And, once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So, we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. All right, you have anything else to say? What's going on with the Purifier? You mentioned something about clean water being distributed? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier, and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Sure thing. Gotta go now. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Alright, so I can see a... What is this? Not a Mr. Gutsy. Sawbones. I guess a repurposed Mr. Presence Gutsy. Detected. This unit has activated. Uh-huh. And over here, we have Sentinel Lions. Sentinel Lions is unconscious. Alright. We have a safe here, medical storage. Locked and very hard. But, if we do... Okay, our radiation has been decreased to zero. And the Radex wore off, as you saw. Uh, we do have the Chinese Stealth Armor. Let's go ahead and equip that. Let's try for this lock, shall we? Wow, we have a 10% chance to get this. Ah, oh, so close to get that first try. Come on, we got this. Ooh, okay, second try. I'll definitely take that. Got a blood pack, some dirty water, some medics, radex, red away, and stick packs. Take that. Actually, what do you have? I'm curious. I'll save right here. <clears throat> you don't have anything. Alright, do you? No. 
Aqua Pura crate. Aqua Pura, Aqua Pura 12. Uh, health plus 20. No radiation effects. Interesting. Citadel Medical Terminal locked very hard. Let's go ahead and try. Infiltration. Ooh, wow, actually. That was, that was not bad. Uh, okay, infiltration. I, uh, okay, let's start with something that says I. Maybe. Purification. Um, I'm trying to match up the letters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has seven. Um, uh, let's try appreciation. No. Okay. Resurrection. Right. Let's look for little code words. Hmm. Little bits of a code we can like hack or whatever. Dud removed. Okay. Anticipating. This is very hard, so it might not be as easy to find them. Or we might not find them as numbered. Might actually only be a couple. Oh, I saw that. Allowance replenished. Okay. <clears throat> Civilization. Ah! Sweet! Nice. I always like when that happens. You get an allowance replenish and then you just get it first try. Hey sawbones, you some you, you some done. <laughs> you dumb son of a bitch. This is uh this is Glade. I hacked your terminal again. Now change your password before I delete all your stupid robot poetry. <laughs> Okay, so we have Casualty Report. Paladin Blanchett, Honorable Death in Combat. Paladin Jennings, which I think we've witnessed. Honorable Death in Combat. Paladin Stein, MIA, Presumed Dead or Honorable honorable Death in Combat. Paladin Sawagachi, Honorable Death in Combat. Knight Casserly, Honorable Death in Combat. Knight Arturo, Suicide. Knight Ianelli, Honorable Death in Combat. Knight Connard, Honorable Death in Combat. I read that as Coward for a split second. I was like, that's kind of ironic. Knight Patriarchus. <laughs> MIA. Presumed dead or honorable death in combat. Initiate Verona. MIA. Presumed dead or honor honorable death in combat. Initiate Ruo. Honorable death in combat. Initiate uh, Quintana. MIA. Initiate Porter. Honor honorable death. Initiate Loring. Training accident. Investigation pending. Interesting. Initiate Redden. Honorable death. And that's it. Notes on Pendleton uh, appendectomy. Rotary saw was effective, but suturing of incision proved ineffective. High intensity heat cauterization proved successful. Operation outcome success. Patient pain and discomfort level irrelevant. Probability of future procedure 100%. Interesting. Hovering contemplatively, a poet. Brotherhood of steel. Blood is red. Ionic medical pulse beams are blue. Steel is better than flesh. And artifi uh, artificial intelligence. Subprocessors are too. Interesting. Medical storage lock override, which we've already unlocked, but you know. We also have this crate of Aqua Pura. This Another is glorious day in this man's army. Let's go and take those bottles. Hi, Sawbones. Did you need something? Initiate triage protocol. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treat. Error, error. Sawbones has damaged you. Ouch, that hurt. What the hell? There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level 2 diagnostic. Science, run a level 2 diagnostic on the medical subsystems. Command accepted. Beginning level 2 systems diagnostic. Please stand by. <laughs> I like this jazz. Diagnostic nice. complete. Results indicate a level 7 degradation in neural pathway 0x63A82. No further information available. What is that pathway responsible for? Neural pathway 0x63A82 governs the motor control interface bridging the main medical software and the unit's manipulator arms. The current damage level would cause erratic behavior, potentially forcing the unit to behave outside of design parameters. 
Say, could I reprogram you to kill people? Negative. The Mr. Gutsy field medic model is incapable of harming human beings through intentional action. <laughs> Come back. Close neural pathways 0x63882 and reroute remaining functions. Neural pathway 0x63A82 rerouted through neural pathway 0x374E82. Stand by. More music? Full motor functions restored. Diagnostic reveals no critical failures. Asshole. <laughs> Initiate triage protocol. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. That's to make up for hurting me. There, I fix your robot, Elder Lions. Medical procedure complete. <clears throat> Further instructions? Yes. Acknowledged. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. Huh. Alright, well, that's interesting. I usually don't do that. Let's take some medics as well. Alright, you got anything else to say to us? If you haven't so. yet done so, please see Rothschild soon. Yeah, I think that's it. I patiently await your word. Hi, Fox. I had hoped you'd return. What now? <laughs> I want to make sure you're here. Peace. Let's get going. With all due haste. Hey, dog me. Come on, boy. Good boy. Hey, I like how they program something for dog meat, like at the uh, the end when you're. Uh, when, you, when you're in the um, the chamber, you're like, oh yeah, I, bye dog meat. Um, this might be the last time we see each other. <clears throat> Anyways, though, this is going to have to do it for the actual like end of the main uh, game, like storyline wise. Um, uh, before the release of Broken Steel, um, it was left on a cliffhanger whether you'd uh, actually survive or not. You know. Another glorious day in this man's army. So you know, it was very interesting. Uh, watching that happen at, at the time, you know, like you had like no real clue what was going to happen or whether you died. Like everyone just assumed you did, but then they're like, "Oh yeah, we're we were releasing a fifth DLC." So you know, they went ahead and did that. Anyways, though, this is going to be the end of the uh, main game, and this is where we begin the other DLC. I kind of hinted at it in the last episode or uh, last few episodes. I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to get this one out of the way before we started the, uh, Point Lookout one, you know, just because that was, uh, it requires me to remove, that requires me to leave behind my companions, and we literally just grabbed them, so it seems counter, uh, counterintuitive. Anyways, though, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy this, um, playthrough in the series, and, um, yeah, if you are, please leave a like down below. It'd be very much appreciated. And, uh, you know, share with your buddies if you're into that as well, or you think they'd be as well. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.